So that golden temple spire thing that you can see over there is a Vipassana center. It's what the world's largest, was, yeah. the world's largest Vipassana center. And this island is called Manori Island. Manori Island. So we're going here, but we're not going to go meditate. We're going to go to Essel World. relaxing day to a theme park in my entire life because it was Tuesday and there was nobody here. the Lord Krishna, who's the blue guy. Basically, there's a tradition uh, which started, you know, several years ago, where 
people gather into teams and they make human pyramids and at the top of the pyramid there is this uh, sort of a bowl clay jug which is traditionally filled with uh, milk or honey I think no he's not Winnie the Pooh okay it's milk I think <laughs> or butter butter that's what it is it's butter so basically these guys make a human pyramid and the person at the top is called uh, Govinda and he uh, is supposed to smash it traditionally but these days because lots of people want to go up and do it they just touch it and they salute it and uh, it's a nice tradition but the thing is recently uh, it's become a little bit crazy where every sort of district in Mumbai not even district, districts within districts will have people who put up huge loudspeakers and it's like complete noise pollution all over the cities and villages even. One thing I don't like about it very much is that there's huge crowds, huge really dense crowds. It's also a very famous tradition to bring in famous actors, actresses, stars of some sort to come in and be at your the handy celebration on the stage and wave to everybody. Uh, it's, it's become quite a funny, quite a funny thing. I've heard people say that it's uh, like a show of muscle power for the local thugs and politicians, which might be true, but I don't know any of them personally. Quite a crazy day over here in India. And uh, I don't really like big crowds very much, no matter where I am in the world, so I'm staying inside and cooking dinner for some friends. So I made my famous Moroccan chicken burger with mozzarella and the key ingredient is the mint and coconut chutney that Sarang makes. So it's pretty tasty. It's good, no? Very good. <laughs> Yummy. And we also made beet burgers for Shubra and Sarang. Hey Mogambo. How are you? You had an adventure? Are you sad? Are you sad that you didn't get to have any chicken burger?